Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. I've got a very small shop to show you today, but I think it's a nice one. <laughs> All right, let's see what I've got. I want to show you what I picked up at High V. Uh, the reason I went to High V is not because of any of the specials, but because I just didn't feel like running around all over Tarnation to buy food. Uh, if anybody knows what or where Tarnation is, would you let me know? I've always wondered about that. Tarnation. Hmm. Wonder what that, where that is. <laughs> okay. I'll show you what I got at High V. I got, um, I bought some toasted sesame oil, which I have not had for many months. Uh, it was, oh, let me see here. It was $4.99. They had this um, honeysuckle, uh, turkey <laughs> honeysuckle turkey for two dollars and 49 cents for each one of these rolls so just for the fun of it and to add some um, extra meat to the freezer I've got the honeysuckle white Italian style seasoned and taco seasoned I thought I would give that a try why not and like I said, those were $2.49. I bought uh, this little block of pepper jack cheese for $2.98. These, I got one lemon and one lime. These were $0.99 cents each. Uh, the eggs, for these large eggs, they were... Uh, $3.46. The chuck roast was on sale for $4.99 a pound. I haven't bought a chuck roast in a good long while, so I picked this up. That particular one uh, was $9.73 total. I may can this up. I don't know yet. We will see. Um, I did buy some nutritional yeast. I have not purchased nutritional yeast probably in about a year. It does tend to be quite pricey, although the Bob's Red Mill was cheaper than the, the Bragg's by quite a bit, actually. So the um, nutritional yeast was... Six dollars and forty-nine cents, and this bag of nutritional yeast actually weighed about an ounce more than the the a jar of Bragg's nutritional yeast. I did buy a four-pound bag of sugar, which was three dollars and sixty-nine cents, uh, because I opened up my last bag, so I thought I better get some in just in case, and of course. While I was in there, I had to pick up two loaves of the Italian bread, which is only a dollar. I love this bread. I just enjoy it immensely. So I didn't want to pass up an opportunity to pick that up. Now then, let's see. The total was um, $36.73. For everything here uh, I have because as you know I've been working at this and um, getting my pantry stocked getting my freezer stocked I've been blessed with some food that has been given to me as well which I have been a good steward of that food and um, as far as preserving it is concerned so uh, now at this stage I am able to purchase a few things which are more expensive for uh, or which previously has been out of the bounds of my grocery budget so I'm able to purchase a few of these things such as 
the toasted sesame oil, the nutritional yeast flakes, which I really like to keep on hand. I've been treasuring the flakes that I have left, which is about that much in the bottom of the of the uh, jar. To show you that I'm not exaggerating, there it is. Yup! Yeah, I've been hanging on to it for special. <laughs> so, I do have some dried garbanzo beans that have been given to me. I would like to cook them up and make some hummus. Tahini is quite costly, but I can substitute with the toasted sesame seed oil and get that same flavor. So, that's it. Um, I'll show you my next um, purchases. And um, you'll have to let me know what you think. Okie doke. I bought five pounds of self-rising flour at Dollar General. And that was $3.25. I have not had self-rising flour in, it, it's been so long, I don't even remember the last time I had it. It's something I do like to keep around. So... I got that for my pantry and I bought some plain salt it's not iodized it's just plain because sometimes when I'm doing a little bit of canning or um, brining I need plain salt and that was 95 cents at Dollar General at Quickstar um, it was the last day for the butter which was on sale for $2.99 so um, <clears throat> the limit was two, so I got two more, which gives me, this gives me about a total of six one-pound boxes of butter for my freezer, which I'm very happy to have. Now, this uh, Karuba coffee, these are some K-cups, or they call them capsules. Um, this was buy one, get one free, so the two of these cost $7.99. That's uh, a luxury for me. I have a Keurig downstairs in um, a room just off of my family room. It's actually the room where my freezer is kept, etc. And I have, it's a, I guess you could call it a little bit of a coffee bar set up there. Um, and there is a small fridge in that side too. I call that room the annex. And um, I have a Keurig. Now, I've had the Keurig for oh, quite a few years. It was um, a gift to me by, from my uh, younger son and, and my daughter-in-law. And um, so that get, mostly gets used when company is here. But uh, once in a while when I'm downstairs, I might uh, watch TV and have a cup of coffee. Also, I keep hot chocolate down there. And um, tea for, yeah, I keep tea bags for hot tea. And um, just a few amenities. So um, it's been a while since I purchased any K-Cups for, for that spot. But this was a pretty good buy. So I decided to go ahead and get that. So <clears throat> that's actually um, what I bought. Oh, I did buy some bologna to make the ham salad when my daughter was here this past weekend. And um, I made that big batch. I, I showed you the batch on my um, <laughs> on my community page. And um, so I just want to um, acknowledge that. I think that was $1.69, I think. And I bought some chips to go with that, uh, with those sandwiches. Uh, we had um, a meal of that while she was here, and then I sent the rest home with her because, well, she likes it. That's my kids, and, you know, you got to send stuff home sometimes with your kids. <laughs> All right. That's the whole nine yards right there. Um, listen, I love you guys. You know I do. As always, you know that little is much when God is in it. Okay? All right, you take care of yourselves. I hope that 
uh, you're all safe and sound and let me know in the comments what you think and were you able to get any bargains out there. Okay, all right, love ya. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.